things today? I would really love that big yes from you. I am teacher Angeline and I'll be your mathematics for teacher. I gonna help you learn many things and I gonna bring you to the amazing world of mathematics. Today, we will be exploring more about visualizing this. Before we go on to our next lesson, let me remind you the things that you are expected to be at the end of the discussion. At the end of this lesson, the students must be able to visualize decimal numbers using models like blocks, grids, number lines, and money to show the relationship to fractions. Rename decimal numbers to fractions whose denominators are factors of 10 and 100 to decimal. Create an illustration of decimal numbers. Let's start the learning adventure. We are going to learn how to visualize decimals using model like dots, grids, number lines, and money to show the relationship to fractions. The numbers that has a point after the ones digit is called decimal numbers. These digits after the ones denoted as tens, hundreds, and so on. Decimal number can be changed or renamed into fraction form and vice versa. For instance, 0 0.123. This is what we call decimal numbers. As what I've said before, decimal numbers are those numbers after the decimal point or the that. So, we have 1, 2, and 3. After the dot, we have number 1. And that is 10. The first number after the dot is 10. Then, the second number is 2, which is the hundreds. And then, the third number is the thousand. Now, that is denoted as tens, hundreds, and thousands. For our example, we have 0 0.1. Let's convert it into fraction form. Since we have one digit after the that, so that means our denominator is tens because number one is placed in tens. So, Let's say we have 10 and copy the number 1. So, we have 1 over 10. Next example, 0 0.12. So, as what we can see, we have two digits, right? Always remember that if the decimal numbers have two digits, our denominator is hundreds. Then, copy the number 12. So, 0 0.12 is equals to 12 over 100. Next example, we have 0 0.123. So, we have tens, hundreds, and thousands. Always remember, if we have three numbers after the decimal point, the denominator is thousands. So, 0 0.123 is equals to 123 over 1,000. Remember, in converting decimal numbers, one digit, one zero in denominator, two digits, Two zero, three digits, three zero. Now let's visualize decimals using blocks or cubes. But how can we visualize the decimals 
by using blocks or cubes? Let's say we have decimal 0 0.6. How can we convert it into fractions? As what I have said a while ago, if you have one digit after the decimal point, the denominator is 10 and copy the number 6. So, we have 6 over 10. Now, how can we visualize it using blocks? We have a denominator of 10. So, we will make 10 cubes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And this is our denominator. We have 10. Then, our numerator is 6. So, we are going to shade the 6 cubes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And that's how we visualize decimal using blocks or cubes. Let's visualize decimals using a grid. So, let's have 0 0.12 and convert it into fraction. Since 0 0.12 is 2 digits, then the denominator is hundreds. Now, let's draw a grid. Since we have a denominator, 100, we need grids divided into 100. Since we have a numerator, 12, we are going to change the 12 of the grids. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's how we visualize decimal using grids. Now, let's use the number line in visualizing decimal. For example, we have 0 0.3, which in fraction, it is 3 over 10. Because 3 is placed in 10. How are we going to use the number line? We are going to make a number line. Since the denominator is 10, then there is 10 lines in the number line. Then our numerator is 3. Let's shape 3 numbers. 1, 2, and 3. That's it. First of all, let's move on to one decimal place. Let's convert 0 0.5 into fraction. One digit, one zero. So we have a denominator 10. So we have 5 over 10. 5 over 10 can be in lowest term. You will think for a number which can be divided in, into 5 and 10 to find its lowest term. So, we have 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. And 10 divided by 5 is 2. So, the lowest term of 5 over 10 is 1 half or 0 0.5 is equal to 1 half. Now, for 2 decimal place, we have 0 0.25. We have two digits. So, we have two zeros in the denominator, which is hundreds. So, we have 25 over 100. Is there any lowest term for 25 over 100? Yes, it has. Both numerator and denominator can be divided into 25. So, 25 divided by 25 is 1. And 100 divided by 25 is 4. So, 0 0.25 is equals to 
one point. That's all for today. Hope you learned a lot. Always remember the different methods to visualize decimal. Again, I am Teacher Angeline who always says that every child can be a mathematician. See you again!